Well, we're going up to the natural bridge. I'm going to the natural bridge with my honey. It's cold Shut out. Up, it's cold. It's probably about 40 degrees. There's a cave down there that he's taking a picture of. We're at Natural Bridge right now. We're on our way up to the bridge. It's approximately a mile, but it's all wilderness and very serene. And this is one aspect of the many places that we will be in the Natural Bridge, the Daniel Boone National Forest. Red River Gorge Red area. Red River Gorge area that you will see later. very quiet out here. It's nice and serene, peaceful. Wait for me. I am. You can see your breath. He's waving. Follow me. I'm coming. Cricket. We're going to go up, up to the natural bridge. I'm following my boo-boo right now. Ooh, look at him walk. He's so cute. And he's such a precious thing. He is adorable. He is so adorable. Look at him move. He loves to hike. He really does. He enjoys it. And I have seen so much. Ooh, he's at a distance. Gotta go. Catch on the flip. Bah. Because you're tired. Because I'm tired. It's a very, very, not strenuous walk, just long. Going up a couple hills, but I'll tell you, working out at the gym really, really helped prepare me for this day. I'm still exhausted. I've been working out for 30 months. Well, um, we are going to go up to Natural Bridge and stay there for a while. It's just absolutely beautiful out here. After that? After that, we're going to go to this cliffside resort inn where Ann and BJ and Phil and I stayed. And we spent money to have people come for tours on the house. And you will see as we go through the same tour that other people invaded in on. You didn't mention the balanced rock. Oh, we're going to the balanced rock after that. It's where rock balances. And Stand up. Hi. You can see the natural bridge in the background. Hi. You can Hi. see it. We're on our way up there. That's a clear view. The trees are blocking, but it's a clear view of the natural bridge. It's huge. Okay, you go ahead and rest. Thank you, dear. It's so beautiful of you today. It's so awesome out here. It's absolutely awesome. We're in the middle of wilderness. It's forest. Forest. In the wilderness. It's just breathtaking. You want to 
not a good day to get away from things, just go to the natural bridge. And in the summer, they offer um, chairlift rides to get up to the bridge, and then you can hike down, or you can look around, stay there for a while, whatever you want to do, and then you get back on the chairlift, and you go back down to your car. It's a very breathtaking scenery view up there going up on the chairlift to the natural bridge. Natural bridge is what everybody knows of what we talk about, it all around Kentucky. Especially in Lexington, places within an hour circumference of it. Hi, this is my husband and I, and we are together. Together in the natural bridge area, right? up from the lodge, about three quarters of a mile from the lodge. Mm, I love my <coughs> well, This is nice. They built a little rest area for people that are walking up the trail. Like us. We're almost there. I love my boo-boo. I love you so much. Let's not get dramatic. I love him. Oh. Nothing I can do cause I'm stuck like glue to my gal. Nothing I can you can do to take me away from my guy. <laughs> Nothing they can say gonna take me away from, from my, my guy. Mm. I love you. I love you, Boo. Moose moose. Moose moose. By the other moose. Oh look, we make one moose. <laughs> 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 this is a good view of it right here. This is it, we have arrived. You know you can get on top of it and walk across. Bye.
Huh? No. I want to get it with them going up the steps. That's pretty neat. Can you see me going up the steps? Yes, you can. Oh, it's getting narrow. Can you fit? No problem. Wave, wave. I love you. I love you too. Oh. Good job. Good I'm job. Up here. Okay. We're done. See you at the top, everybody. Season's greetings. I had to take off my mittens. You getting warm? Yeah, it's getting warm. I'll tell you, the more you walk, the more... You get hot. <laughs> the more you warm up. It's been cold. Oh, yeah. You get hot. I'm in a very slim cement wall right now. It's like Fat Man Squeeze. Fat Man Squeeze, just like at Mammoth Cave when we went through that. And we're on our way to the very top. We are below it right now. The next one you're going to see is either us at the top or nearly the top. Okay, this is it. We are officially on top of the natural bridge. And this is the view. Come on, Cricket. There's no water fountain. Oh. I couldn't remember whether it was or not. So you can't see here? This is it. We're on top of the natural bridge. Hmm. Up here where the sun's shining, it's not cold at all. I'd say it's about 50 degrees, 45 or 50 degrees here. Well, it's beautiful. It certainly is. Wow. This is very impressive. This is very impressive. I love it. It's much right warmer. There, it's just absolutely breathtaking. It is not cold at all. It's perfect. It feels like it's about 60 degrees. 
It it's is, not. It, I don't know what the it is, but it's absolutely beautiful. This is nature, which is the best beauty. I am so glad that I am here. Well, it's nice to get away. It's really nice to get away. Get away from that rat race. You can come up here and think. It's quiet. It's really, serene. Really quiet. It's serene and peaceful. Well, this is, and I quote, the best view of the natural bridge. It's very clearly defined that that is a natural bridge. Okay, this is the uh, lake right below the lodge, the Hemlock Lodge at Natural Bridge State Resort Park. You can clearly see the road over to the side. That's the road that leads up to the lodge. That's a very pretty mountain lake. OK. 
Okay, if you'll notice, this is only a slightly different angle on the natural bridge. Now, if you'll notice, in the left-hand corner, you can see a glint of light off of the roof of the picnic shelter over there to the left. I'll try and get in that a little bit closer. That is a picnic shelter. That is neat. You can you can clearly see that someone has walked across the natural bridge. All right. I don't think I've mentioned it until this point, but there is a chair lift that'll take you up here to the natural bridge. It's only seasonal. It only runs during the summer, though. I do believe this is some nice footage. Look at that all beyond the horizon right there. Beautiful horizon. The wind's not even blowing at all right here. I think this is a very pretty vantage point. Okay, it's time to pause and move on. Okay, as I said, it's only seasonal, and it's December, it's closed for the season. See there, if you get on, you might be stuck for days. You look cold, Bubba. I know, Boo Boo, I look very cold, but the fact of the matter is, I am cold. It's a little chillier. I love you. I love you too, Bubba. Oh. You got the hood on and the mittens. And it's mittens. really not that cold out right now. I know. That's because I'm just staying here and all the breeze is coming out. Okay, uh, we're in the picnic shelter now over to the left-hand side of the natural bridge. I pointed it out in the footage earlier on. 
I bet it took them a long time to build this. This is heavy duty. Because they had to get all the materials up here, and it was the same route that we took. No driving cars up here. It's nothing but trails. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I love we, you. We love going hiking together. And what else do we do together, Bulbul? We have many shared interests. We have many. Share a few, Bulbul. Share a few. I love you. I love you. Bulbul. Hi. See the picnic shelter in the background? This is an awesome rock we're standing on. I'm standing on it. This is a beautiful day to spend a Sunday afternoon. We came up yesterday, we watched the Kentucky Cats play last night and won. Then today we got up about 8.30, had breakfast together, and then took a hike, and we're going to hike all day long. Next stop is the Balanced Rock. And you will see that. That is an amazing rock. The formation that it takes to get to it is amazing. It's all natural. It's a geological wonder, just like the Natural Bridge. The water and the wind and time, all three combined, make these geological wonders. And see, this is just an hour from the house. Yeah, one hour's home. drive from Lexington. A lot of people, a lot of people camp, and they bring, they'll bring their tents, and they'll camp in the gorge, which is another place that we're going to go to, and uh, they build campfires. There's a cave there. Caves there. It's just a wonder, a natural wonder, and this is just one small aspect of the whole thing. Okay, the, the Hemlock Lodge is where we stayed last night. And we're definitely not going nine and a quarter miles to get back. We're going to go back the shorter trail. Hi, we're going down on our way from the top of the Natural Bridge down to Balanced Rock. And then we're going to go back to the room and rest for a little bit, get something to drink, because I'm very thirsty. Walking and hiking is a lot of work. And God, he just can't. Cricket, I just can't keep up with you. He cannot keep up with me. I guess working out at the gym really helps me more than him. This is a pretty lush forest right here. See this? We're in the Daniel Boone National Forest, and obviously this is a very forested area. Hey. Can you see me? Yeah. Sure can. I love oh, you. Pause it. We're approaching Balanced Rock. Balanced Rock. This is the last set of stairs we have to negotiate before we arrive. And we're doing a good job. Bill's taking our time. My hand. I'm taking my time. We're holding on to one another. Oh. formation. And Phil's going to walk over there and I think he's going to get on top of it. You can't see him right now because he's trying to climb up through the back of it. 
We're going to see if we can at least get near the top of it. But I'm not sure if we can. But you will see him inside in just one minute. Get on it? No, you can get underneath it. Oop. Nope, it's not going to fall. It's just an incredible sight to see. It's just so beautiful. And the rock's not bad either. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Look where I'm at. I'm at the balanced rock. And? And I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Be careful. Good idea. It's a big one. Phil's not afraid of anything. Nope. He's just sorry he's not going to be able to go to Florida either. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to get enough time off. To talk to everybody. Check it out. Look at this angle I'm at. It's very steep. He's playing a pretty dangerous game, but he, he can handle it. Very athletically inclined. As of moi, I'm very athletically declined, so I'm not even going to attempt that. I know where my face lays, and his lays exactly where it is, because he's good. He's very athletic. We can walk around the rock. He can walk around that rock and keep on walking, can't you? Anyway, this is a different angle looking at the balanced rock right now. Very, very We're going up to the natural bridge. I'm going to the natural bridge with my honey. It's cold Shut out. Up, it's cold. It's probably about 40 degrees. There's a cave down there that he's taking a picture of. We're at natural bridge right now. We're on our way up to the bridge. It's approximately a mile, but it's all wilderness and very serene. 
and this is one aspect of the many places that we will be in the natural bridge, the Daniel Boone National Forest. Red River Gorge Red area. Red River Gorge area that you will see later. It's very quiet out here. It's nice and serene, peaceful. Wait for me. I am. You can see your breath. He's waving. Follow me. I'm coming. Cricket. We're going to go up up to the natural bridge. I'm following my boo-boo right now. Ooh, look at him walk. He's so cute. And he's such a precious thing. He is adorable. He is so adorable. Look at him move. That's a Kentucky Wildcat. Show 
a beach. <laughs> I bet you didn't think we'd be here. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is where we spent one weekend night here. And we missed it so much. We want to come back and film it. We're just having fun. There's a jacuzzi over there. Point to it. It's relaxing to swing on the swing, isn't it?
make him sad. That was fun. <laughs> Show the car. BJ, is this your car over here? through the Nauta Tunnel into the Red River Gorge. Okay, nobody's coming. There's the, there it is. We're inside the tunnel. We are in the tunnel. You are about to see a whole new world. Woo, <coughs> that's the horn. We're in that's a tunnel. That's the horn. We're <coughs> in a tunnel. Wait till you see what we're going to come out to. We're in a tunnel. Well, somebody's coming. Ooh, somebody's coming. They're going to have to wait on us. No problem. This is the Red River Gorge. Yep, here we are. Daniel Boone National Forest. All right, go on, pause it. Okay, this is what the tunnel looks like from the other side. Going down the road. We are inside the Daniel Boone National Forest Red River Gorge. Oh, don't forget, there's buffalo. I want to get uh, some footage of the buffalo.
coming up on that Red River Gorgeous. Okay, what we're seeing now is what's known as chimney rock. If you look close enough, you can see someone standing up there and there's a railing around it. Not really sure who lives here. I think they're out for the day, though. Very quiet, very quiet right now. Calm and peaceful. It's very serene here in the National Forest, the Daniel Boone National Forest. And again, this is the uh, chimney rock that we're looking at. Okay, it's time to move on. Next stop will be the buffalo. Yeah, first thing I want to say is we are on this side of the fence. Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But see the two little ones? Or three little ones, really. They weren't here last time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Remember all the bison and uh, Yellowstone? Mm hmm. Yep. No, it's, yeah, huh? What you doing? I'm buttoning that. Yeah, I'm looking at buffalo. I am too. This electric fence. Isn't this exciting? Yeah, it is. We're in the Daniel Boone National Forest. Filming bison. Yep. <laughs> A.K.A. Buffalo. I.E. Dangerous. Come over here and stand by me. Oh.
that one's looking right at us. I know. Damn, Jimmy. Very dangerous animals. Why aren't you sitting there doing nothing right now? Yeah. But if this electric fence wasn't here, they could literally kill us. Stampede us to death. They'd still be... Okay, we've left the buffalo, and this is the Gladdy cabin. This cabin has been here since the 1800s. I don't know the exact date, but uh, that's what's known as the Gladdy cabin. I love my boo boo. Hello. Hello. Woo. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Look at the size of this boulder that I'm on. It's awesome. Cars loud. 
pretty mountain stream. Beautiful mountain stream. It's a mountain we, stream. We are in the mountains. We're in the Appalachian Mountains. The Appalachian. I said it first. I said it second. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay, as you can see, this is another natural arch. This is known as Sky Bridge. Oh, if you'll look closely, you can see people walking across it right at this very moment. very pretty. Alright, this is a different angle at looking at the sky bridge. Before we were down on the road looking up at it, now we're even with it looking at it from the side. Right down there, see, the whole entire area is the gorge. And we are just at barely a fraction of it. Yeah, we're just going to see a fraction of it. Those cloud formations look really pretty. It's Everything so beautiful, beautiful here. There's the road down there that we took to get here. You already said that. Follow that all the way up. It goes, it just keeps winding around. Look out that way. Slow. This 
is the Red River Gorge. This is from standing from our balcony of our lodge room. A toe down island down there. This is just an awesome place in the summer to come to. They have uh, square dancing. They bring in various groups of people to square dance. And there's the lake down there. You have that. They have eight o'clock at night. They'll bring in square dancers and. You can't hardly find a lodge room on a Saturday night and we're from the summer through fall to the fall foliage. But it is an awesome place to be. There's the sky hugging the mountains. It's just an awesome place to live, to be in Kentucky. This is just an hour from where we are. Balls. This is from inside the hotel room. Lodge room. The lodge room, I'm sorry. You could sit outside, you could see some chairs, two chairs. And Phil stands out, sits out there in the summer when we book a room and he plays guitar and just looks over the railing at the mountains and it's just a pleasure to be here gorgeous Here we are, Natural Bridge, about ready to check out. It is just unbelievably incredible out here. You see the clouds hugging the mountains. I mean, we're in mountains. I thought I'd miss the beach, but after seeing some of the things that I've seen in Kentucky, I'm just, I don't regret living here at all. Phil has just taken me all over Kentucky, not to mention 42 other states. He was just, he and I just love to go. That's why we invested in this video camera. We're just really sorry we never had it before because we missed all that footage we could have had. This is the lake that surrounds, not surrounds, but halfway surrounds the lodge. I'm so lucky. Oh, I see the ducks down there. Look. Down the water. Oh, there's a ducky. There's a ducky. Y'all fly south. 
It iced. This water was iced yeah. last night. Well, look over there to iced. the right. Look over there to the right. It's still some ice. To the right of the Hoedown Island. That's a lot of ducks. That's Hoedown Island right there. Every Saturday night during the summer months, they have uh, square dancing. That's ice right there. That is pure ice. It's probably not um, very thick, though. You can't go ice skating on no. it. No. And you can go swimming in the summer. They have a pool here. Right? Look at the clouds hugging right there. there. Yeah, I got that already. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the pool. They drain it. Every pool in Kentucky, they drain and then bring it back in the winter, in the summer. summer. I mean, I can't get over the amount of ducks. That's a lot of ducks. That is a lot of ducks. Look, they're flying off. Look, they're flying. See them birds and ducks. Yes, they are. It's just so peaceful and serene here. It's nice when nobody else is here. It's like Phil and I have the whole lodge to ourselves. We walked in the lodge last night. And probably four couples. It's just incredible. That's Phil. There's the clouds hugging. The trees. The trees. Anyway, we're going to go into the gorge, into another area that we will see. Kuma Ridge Road. Catch on the flip. narrate everything. Oh, but I love to. This is neat. This is really neat. Look. We're going up, up, up. We're on State Road 15 right now. We're still in the Danyaboon National Forest. It's huge. It's kind of cloudy and overcast today, and it's not raining right now, but it's rained. It has rained some. incredible. That's enough. We're going to Scenic Drive Tunnel Ridge Road. We're making a left. Crossing the Burt T. Combs Mountain Parkway at this point. Look at the sign here. Oh.
my goodness, in the time that we pulled up, it's getting cloudier and cloudier right where we're at. We are in the clouds. Absolutely beyond the shadow of a doubt. Why don't you step right about here? Okay. <laughs> Now this is a little better. And now look at it. It passed through. This is it. My goodness. We are above the clouds. Look at it right through here. This is so romantic. God, this is romantic. I love this. And I love coming here with you. I can't imagine it. Yeah, here. I'm okay. Now look, you can see, you can see the road down there, and you can also see the river. That's the road we take? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could
getting really cloudy. Careful. We are at the end of the Coomer Ridge Road. Did you hear that bird? That's a hawk. That is a hawk. This is the Star Gap Arch.
I'm standing on a boulder right now from way up high looking down on the Burt T. Combs Mountain Parkway. Not that far of a fall. So I don't want the video camera. Beginning to rain. Hi. What did you get? Yeah. Oh, did somebody look out the door? Yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah. I'd go before they got their shotgun. This is the mayor's other house. <laughs> Look at that. Zoom in on the front door there. See that statue? This is Lexington.
Those are mountains there. And that there hills. I'm the only person I need to own. Please, you get the forerunner at the Toyota Ride and Decide. Why? Very comfortable, very smooth, solid. Look at that. Lots of room in the back. Major, why did you pick forerunner over Explorer? The forerunner was much smoother, uh, much more responsive, much more comfortable, <laughs> fitted it better. Have all my toys with me without that compromising any space or comfort. And the winner is definitely the forerunner. I was surprised, all right. Logan's Roadhouse Restaurant, an experience you just can't get anywhere else. Now join us live next Tuesday night. Kentucky traveling over the Freedom Hall in Louisville. And the Wildcats will next take day. on Billy Donovan's team. The Marshall Thundering Herd will have all the action for you live right here on the UK Television Network. We'll be on the air at 8 o'clock Eastern, so don't miss it. Kentucky against the Thundering Herd of Marshall. I'll tell you, Billy Donovan's got that team playing well. They just had a big win against Southwest Louisiana. We look at the rebounds and assists right here. Kentucky just dominating. Ball tipped away, stolen by Mark Pope. Woo! And nearly taken back by Witcher Scarlet, but Wayne Turner has it now. 56 to 19, Kentucky. Turner lost the handle down the lane. Good shot. And Walker picks it up. Quick yes, pass. Get it. Bam! He got it. Woo! You know, one thing Kentucky has done a real good job of tonight is they've really done a good job of flying at the three-point shooters. Right here, Wichiscala has got to take it. Excuse me. Wichiscala. Another life one just comes up with my And the seventh block of the night for the Kentucky Wildcats. Foul called on Mark Majic, his third. So the possession goes back to Kentucky here. There are the block shots. Seven of the game now for Kentucky. Turner, a ball fake, a drive. And slammed back through by Walker.
stuck right there. Walter McCarty is back in the lineup for Kentucky. McCarty, Turner, along with Antoine Walker, Tony Delk, and Derek Anderson, who did not miss a shot in the first half. Well, Derek Anderson, most of the team always just put it plain, plain and simple. Walter McCarty does not get up to 200. It's just good business sense to ensure with Kentucky's best. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. All around coverage, all around Kentucky. JV's in action. This Monday, you can see the JV's at Memorial Coliseum as they take on John Wood Community College of Illinois. That'll get started at 8 o'clock on Monday night. Steal a moment ago by Derek Anderson. And he got it to Antoine Walker. Martin. Now watch Antoine here. He thinks he's going to make a flash and tell you. You don't have the hops of a uh, Walter McCarty. You can't get up as good as Walter. You just got to throw it down with two hands. <laughs> Shepard, Anderson, Walter McCarty, Nazi Muhammad, and Tony Dell. They got trying to get his first points, and he's fouled underneath. Well, Dick Gabriel said it earlier. That's that high level action that we've been talking about. And, you know, the big fella Nazi did a good job of pinning his man and keeping him on his hip. Mike Scroggum picks up the foul, and <laughs> just his third of the game. So we'll get an idea of what kind of touch the big fella has. It runs out on him, so he couldn't get his first point. Ball out of bounds. It'll belong to Morehead State. Torrance Mulder. A little helping hand with the basketball with the camera at that end of the floor. That's a tough place, too, because he gets all the action coming right at him. There have been some fellows who, from time to time, have been nailed down there. Eagles shooting at 15% for the game, Martin. They're 8 of 53. And yeah, they have really struggled to see the basketball. Get it! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Christmas coming early here in Kentucky. John Humphrey filed in. Oh, oh, oh. So he'll be going to the live. The Eagles' worst defeat came three seasons back, 121 to 53. That and was at the hands of Michigan State. And if my addition is correct, it's a 68 point difference there, 121 to 53. Right now they're trailing here by 54 as Humphrey misses the free throw. So I didn't need a calculator to figure that out. You did that just like that. I was sitting here trying to write it down. And write it down. I'm impressed. He missed again. And Nazi Muhammad has got the rebound. Sounds like the freshman the big guy will be a crowd favorite here in Rupp Arena. 45 to 79. He's got to recognize that to start posting up hard. We're going to get an illegal screen on this big guy. At least the third that's been called in the ballgame. I think he was trying to clear Walter McCarty up for a back screen dunk for a lob and uh, just got called. Here again, we talked about that, using his hands. You can't use those hands. Number two on Nazir Muhammad, and we'll walk to the other end, where this time it will be Marlon Witherspoon. Number 13. So we got to say Merry Christmas to Emory Florence. Uh, man, Florence is probably the guy who been diagnosed with some illness, and we just want to say Merry Christmas to him. We got a rebound. Go, Tony. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Box stops with 657 remaining now. 25. And let's get a look at that play just a moment ago at the other end as Muhammad goes up and didn't really have to get up that far to get the block on Luke Lloyd. We could have stuck the Lexus and phone book under him, I think. He got up for the big guy. 
Well, with that last foul, Ted Docks is leaving the floor. He's out of the ball game. Number five on the freshman from Michigan. She parted. Derek Anderson hits the free throw. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Fourteen in the game now for Derek. Make it 15. Remember, he had 18 against Indiana. He could get a career high in a Kentucky... What? That's the red part. There's a lot of traffic. That can be helped. Can't be helped. We would love to tell them to go get the cars out of the way, but this is what Lexington's all about: is horse capital of the world, thoroughbred horse capital of the world. Look up there on that hill. That's pretty good. There's the horse, one of the statues. What's intense? It's an awesome place. <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is the Kentucky Theater. They renovated it after a fire. Mm-hmm. This, this is, is the so entry. You may hope <clears throat> the Calumet Horse Farm. This farm has bred more Kentucky Derby winners than any other horse farm in the world. Okay, as you can see, we are now at Keeneland. 
This is where the horses run, but it's off season right now. Okay, do you see where that car's coming out right there? Can you see where that car's coming out? Do you see those poles? One of those poles, I think the middle one, is the one that I ran into when I worked for that temporary service. One of those poles is the one that I ran into. I do believe it was the middle one. Mm-hmm. Don't walk, don't walk, don't walk. Boy, it's shaking too much. That's something though, that's that big blue building. This is Kentucky Central. That's Central Bank. That's where I bank. It's the Hyatt Regency. the home of Mary Todd Lincoln. This is, and I quote, the only home in the United States dedicated to a first lady. big blue building. There's the Radisson Central Bank.
this is Main Street West facing east. And that's uh, Memorial something or other. Look at that sunset. Not much light left in the day. All right, this is the Mary Todd Lincoln home side view. Just down the street a little ways and on the right is 715 West Main Street, former home of Ann Catarello. Well, that's a nice sunset though. I hope this captures it well. I need to keep moving. You gotta turn it off. Pause. Okay, this is the entryway to uh, Heritage Hall. The only reason why I'm taking a picture of this right now is because it says Gunorama. You don't see that every day. Okay, as you can see this triangle park. There's a bus. This is the Hyatt. And in the background, that big building is Rupp Arena. Yep. Too cold to have the fountains going there at uh, Triangle Park. Too cold. Truck. Many cars going by. I want to stop it. Okay, as you can see, I'm on the other side now. No cars blocking. All right, over to the right is Festival Market. Radisson. Over to the left is the Victorian Square Shops. Deshaies, one of Ann Catarello's most famous rest favorite restaurants.
we're going. I got this thing about escalators. I'm inside the Civic Center shop and I'm on an escalator. Future home of the UK Basketball Museum. <laughs> Escalator. Cool. Sunset. I hope it comes out well. Well, look at that cloud formation. This is it. We're up arena. That's where we're gonna see Jeff Foxworthy. And also Ozzy. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm back inside now. This is one of the most exciting parts here going down. Escalator rule. I think it's going to come out so good. Ice hockey. Ice hockey's coming to Rough Arena. I'm inside the pedway right now, looking into tri Triangle Park.
Green close up. Christmas tree. Headway. There it is, Civic Center Shops. I'm still in the Pedway. This is looking down Main Street, headed east. Look at all them lights. Pretty cool. That's five three and that's a bank. Fifth third bank. Headway between Victorian Square and Festival Market.
over there. Mr. Salmon, bring me a drink. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 